Now, when you were working in Kobo and you were in Detroit, when did you first meet the Sheik? Well, I was working for Burt Ruby. Uh-huh. Burt Ruby and Jack Britton was separate. Yeah. Right? Anyways, the Sheik, I went to Kobo Hall. The Sheik didn't know me. Uh-huh. None of them knew me. And I was standing where all the wrestlers were at in the hallway watching the wrestling matches, right? And uh, I seen the Sheik go to Bobo Brazil. Who's that guy? Who is he? And Bobo Brazil walked over to me. He says, uh, he said, where are you working? I said, ya casita mama toco lo, ma cala. He didn't like more or less, get the hell away from me, will you? And Bobo went, he went like he's here. And he went back to the Sheik and he says, the guy don't, the guy don't talk, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I walk over. So the sheet goes like this here. He calls me over. He says, "Where are you from?" I said, "My name's Abdul." No, I says, uh, "I says my name is Larry Shreve." Yeah. Right. And my name is the Great Zealo Samara. Right. He said, "I'd like to talk to you." That's how I met him. Now, when did you first start doing the? I don't like to say the hardcore style, but because obviously the, the sheik was doing the violence and the insanity sir, and such. Sir, please. The Sheik done his little gimmicks, right? I started with the forks. Yeah. I started breaking the beer bottles. I started with taking the nails, right? Yeah. The hardcore is when I used to take my head when I first started and beat my head up against the post, right? Like the, in those days they used to have bolts in, in the yeah. in the thing. I'd hit my head like that against the thing and I start bleeding, right? I'm the one who started hardcore. The she could go up there and do his little his little routine sure. with his little thing, stuff like that. But I'm the one who started with the forks and this and the bottles, eating glass. I'm the one who done it, right? Then I started getting more powerful than the sheik. Then that's when the sheik talked to Bert Ruby, and that's when they bought me over there to work for him. And that's when I started making no money. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was in I was in Cobo Hall with uh, Chief Whitehall, and he said to me, "Kid, he says uh, we're gonna tear this place down. When the time's right, stab me." You know what I mean? But the chief didn't know I was gonna use my gimmick. I stabbed him. The people went crazy. The chief was bleeding like crazy. Just, and I'm stabbing them. <gasps> and the people started throwing stuff. Boom, 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 right? So it got out of hand where it was a DQ. You know what I mean? They DQ'd me. Mm-hmm. I've never seen Cobo Hall no more because I stole the show. Yeah. Right? And then uh, I went back to the dressing room. Then the Sheik says, um, um, you're going to Akron, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, this and that, and all the little small places where there's nobody in there. Sure. So when I went there, right, I was in control. The first week, the house was so-so. Mm-hmm. Second week, everything came up. Everything came up. Then I wrestled Johnny Powers. Remember Johnny Powers? Yeah. Right? I wrestled Johnny Powers. We were selling out, selling out, ah, better, better like that. Then the Sheik decided to come back to his, t- the Sheik owned the whole territory. He owned everything. Did you know that? Yeah. He owned everything. So him and so they took me off the card, and they had uh, uh, Red Lions, Red Lions, Billy Red Billy, Billy, Billy Red Lions. I had my group, Johnny Power, all of them. We do whatever. Everybody worked together. They took us out. They bought Bobo Brazil and the Sheik in and, and his card, Bull Curry and all of them, and the house went like this. Then they so the promoter said, "Holy shit! Look at this." Then that's when I knew what I really had. Yeah. You see what I mean? And then when the sheik, uh, when he had to go to the hospital, he's the one who said, Abdullah, I want you to take my title. Yeah. Until I get out, blah, blah, stuff like that. And then when I found out what I was getting, I was wrestling Bobo Brazil. Right, I'm wrestling him, boom, 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 doing his thing, he's giving me the headbutt, bam, bam, bam. So I said, do it again. He hit me, bam, bam. I went down, 
right? And I, he covered me. The referee went, one, two, <laughs> and I'm still down. And I remember, one, two, and and I hook Boba Brazil and I grab him like this here and I, I hug him and the referee goes, one, two, three, right? So that meant that Boba got the belt. Yeah. Right? Boba jumped up, you dirty, no good. And he took the belt. He, you know, the, the went to hand to me, oh, no, I don't want that damn belt, right? Because he knew what he did to go over all around with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then that's what happened. But me and the Sheik was partners all over from Puerto Rico. Then I got him... Uh, uh, booked in Japan with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he went to champ Japan before, but he was booked with me, right, for uh, Giant Baba, mm -hmm. right, because he used to work for Inoki, and that's where it happened.